when he pulls it, it's going to pull that parachute out. Hey, it's Jonesy here over at CKC Garage, and today I've got a little bit of an update on Project Pro Charger. I've got a bunch of people that are giving me shout outs saying that it's an awesome build. They can't wait to see this thing do some test passes. Well, when you go fast, you got to slow down fast too, right? So we've got the disc brakes on there, but we are specializing in scale realism. We're huge fans of Street Outlaws. You know that if you're over a certain speed, you have to have parachutes. Well, this is definitely a fast power wheels and my son wanted parachute on here. I'm like, hey, let's go with duels. So we've got one of them done. So that is a working parachute. We've got it all ready to launch. And what we did is we just made an aluminum box. And the secret was these giant springs. Well, where the heck do you get a giant spring? Believe it or not, inside sprinklers, there is this big old spring that helps it pop up. So we just took the springs out of there. And then what we did is we just took a, uh, a hole saw and we used that to shape our disc. And this is basically the plunger. And this is basically the plunger. So this gets pushed in here. And when you pull the cable, it obviously deploys your parachute. So what we did is we put a big one on the outside that's going to push out the parachute. And here's one that's um, not in there. It's basically a uh, athletic training parachute that you strap around your waist. And when you run, the faster you run, the more resistance it gives you. Um, we figured it's a perfect application. We've got a third scale car, third scale parachute. And then the other thing we did is we used some short quarter 20 um, nuts and bolts. I think they're half inch and we just cut out two more smaller diameter discs and that is what sandwiches the spring to the plunger and to the parachute housing and uh, we haven't cut this one out yet but we had a roll of um, what's the stuff it's um, carpet for putting on a speaker box that's what it is a roll of speaker box material and we figured it was heavy duty enough and we used these grommets um, to like repair a tarp and we just put those in there and then we've got the of course the bicycle cable rigged up um, it's going to get drilled through and it's going to go through we don't know where we're going to mount it's probably going to be some kind of lever here so that when he pulls it back the bottom of it's going to pull forward and pull the parachute so basically this is what you're going to see so when he pulls it it's going to pull that parachute out. So there we got it guys, a serious pro mod dual parachute power wheels, only here. So that is some more of the body scale realism. And then over here, we've been playing with the air ride. I think that I updated that, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But uh, we've got the up and down, so here's front and back and they're in the down position and we just rigged it up to this board and I'm glad we did because they're a two-way um, bimbo air cylinder and I have never used these before and I put these caps in because I figured if I didn't air was going to leak out well it was causing an imbalance because there was um, some back pressure on the cylinder so in a shock you would call that pack so they weren't raising and lowering equally, but we got it figured out. I have a good friend that's actually a, a um, automotive engineer that he does this automation stuff. So he instantly knew what the problem was. Took the caps out and this is the result guys. So here's the front. Here's the back. And that's with no air tank. And my good friend Jeremy Lang told me that if I put these caps back in but drilled a small hole, I can actually control the rate of rise and lower. I thought that was just brilliant, man. I wish I was as smart as that guy, but 
Um, it was a perfect opportunity to ask him and he nailed it. And next step, I guess, is figuring out the swing arm. We're definitely just going to do a uh, swing arm in the back and I'm thinking swing arm in the front. Uh, arms would just be pretty tricky. Um, it's doable, but I don't know. I'd rather just keep it pretty simple. I mean, it is power wheels, right? But anyways, guys, that's the two big updates on Project Pro Charger. So if you guys like this crazy build, give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next update. Thanks for watching.